So it's Cozy here, and I'm currently with Warwick. And uh, would you like to tell us about yourself, Warwick? Yeah, sure. I'm a Sydney-based artist, and um, I'm just doing this art for as a passion project. And slowly, it's becoming my full-time gig. So hopefully, in the future, you'll see more of me doing this instead of doing my my daytime job. I'll tell you what. If I had an office job, you know, and I was stuck in a little cubicle, you, you know, you know, this is how you do it. Yeah, I, pretty much. Like I love doing this stuff, and. Um, I just get to escape into these worlds and um, yeah, it's just better than having to deal with customers that aren't related to art and just having to deal with their problems and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, this would be the dream. So Warwick, we have given you a challenge, haven't we? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I love thriving under pressure, so yeah, it's all good. So we're giving him the challenge of doing an interview while, while trying to do an amazing piece of art, which is looking fantastic at the moment. So what are you currently drawing right now? Well, I'm working on a Final Fantasy VII piece. And I just wanted to really capture the essence of the relationship between the main characters of um, Aerith, Cloud and Sephiroth. So we can kind of see Aerith kind of disappearing as she kind of disappears into the life force. And you can just see the back of Sephiroth and Cloud just being, you know, determined to become the hero. Honestly, you know, you've got a different approach to um, doing art styles. Like, I heard that you got pretty popular with the, was it the Incredibles art? Yeah, the Incredibles art started to really boost my uh, my profile. Uh, I went crazy on Instagram. Um, yeah, and just I just took it from there. I, I normally did a lot of um, painty stuff before, uh, such as, uh, where are we? I've lost a lot of, like the Dragon Ball ones over there. And now I'm kind of doing more of these ink brushwork as well as the more kind of anime manga style artwork that you see here. Yeah, so my, my style has evolved a lot over the past five years or so. So how'd you start? Like, you know, you've obviously come a long way from being a little little kid that probably what, watched a little bit too much anime. <laughs> yeah, so I, I always drew since I was a little kid. Um, but then once I was halfway through uni, I, I realized that this course isn't for me. This is not what I want to do. And um, I realized I'm just going to trust my gut instincts and I'm going to just allow art to be my, uh, my, my lifestyle. So I just, I made that decision around 10 years ago after uni, after uni finished and I haven't looked back since. I saw you last year at, uh, at Melbourne at Madfest. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I, I go to a lot of these conventions. Uh, uh, I go to all the Sydney ones, Melbourne ones and Brisbane ones and I'm going to start branching out to overseas conventions starting this year in New Zealand and we'll see how that goes. That's exciting. So when was your first convention? My first convention was in 2013 at Sydney Supernova and back then I just did it, I shared one table with one of my mates and since then it's just, it's just grown. Yeah. And you do alright for yourself. I'm just going to say you've had a pretty pretty constant line until we've we invaded with our camera and microphone. Yeah, yeah. Was, um, so today was a bit quiet, but like you said, it was pretty constant throughout the weekend. And uh, yeah, that's always a good thing. So uh, I'm glad that people always support my artwork and it's very, very humbling for me. And uh, I'm just going to continue to work hard and uh, provide everyone with some cool artwork. Yeah. And what do you say to other people that are doing a uni course that they can't, they don't quite feel, you know, that have a little bit of a passion for drawing? Yeah, um, just just do it guys because um, I was wasting my life doing uni and I, I really am glad that I'm doing what I'm doing now because um, you just got to follow your heart and as long as you work hard you can always achieve whatever you want to achieve. I'm just hiding <laughs> behind. I could give my, you know you can give your cameraman a bit of grief. It's, it's a lot of fun, you know. No, but if you wanted to give everyone like one little message, right, about yourself, what you mean, about your art style, you know, what, 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 would, what would be your big, big, I don't know, <laughs> lip service you do to, uh, to everyone. Not just for me, uh, for everybody. If, Like I said earlier, just just believe in yourself, follow your heart, and just work your ass off. That's all you got to do. Before uh, <laughs> we chase away the rest of the customers, Warwick, it was lovely meeting you. Do you want to just do a quick plug for yourself? Uh, so you can find me on Instagram at Warwick Wong Design. You can just see that right up there, Warwick Wong Design. You can find me on YouTube, just search my name, Warwick Wong. Uh, face, um, Facebook as well, and Twitter as well, just Warwick Wong. Cheers. Thank you so much, mate. Lovely chatting to you. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Sweet.